Good y'all, it's your boy Zach. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. You know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Also, share my video with your friends. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, help the channel, you know, grow. And once I reach 1k on my channel, I'm doing a giveaway, and you could be the lucky person. As you can tell by the title, today I'm discussing uh, pretty much. How long I have been transitioning and do I regret anything far as going uh, transitioning. Um, so I've been transitioning for four and a half years. I started uh, March 1st, 2016. Um, I'm originally from Georgia and I moved to Pittsburgh just so I could transition not only that have a better opportunity you know a different atmosphere and pretty much connect with other people you know that is in the trans community lbgt community you know what i mean um so yeah uh pretty much coming along down this journey i went i didn't think that i would be where i'm at you know, I don't know how many times I could say that, but I honestly didn't think I'll be here. You know what I'm saying? Four years later and having every thing, like every dream that I could possibly think of or, uh, yeah, pretty much every dream that I could possibly think of having, I had. Um, I always thought. Uh, dreamed of having top surgery because my bi big dysphoria was my chest and finally got top surgery June 27, 2019 and that was pretty litty. Um, also starting T and being on T for this long, you know what I'm saying. Also finding a supportive spouse that supports me along the way and that was like, so pretty much everything that I wanted you know, I succeeded. And so coming to like pretty much on this journey, it wasn't easy, you know, because from back home and I get that a lot of times of why did I move to uh, Pittsburgh, you know, and, and stuff like that is because honestly, Georgia doesn't have a lot of the resources that uh, requires you to uh, transition down there. Um, and my family is very like closed minded, you know, and, and stuff like that. So pretty much, uh, so I came here, you know, and honestly, I met an awesome doctor, still my doctor to this day, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I pretty much, uh, you know, did all the tests that you're supposed to do, as far as blood work, uh, making sure my mental, you know, because it's really important that you're mentally prepared, you know, for this journey, you know, because like I said, it comes with its highs and it comes with its lows. And uh, and honestly, it's for me, it's pretty good. I take the good with the bad and, and stuff like that. So like, I don't regret anything far as my decision you know like you know everyone crossed your mind like is this is this the wrong decision am i making the right decision is this for me you know and honestly as soon as i got my first tee shot i was like yes you know what i mean so pretty much to me it was like matching what i felt on the inside as far as physical on the outside you know and it's like trying to explain to someone is like kind of hard but like, it's like some will get in, some won't, you know? And that was kind of like how it was for like my family was. It's like they wasn't understanding. And then you do have some uh, ignorant people that don't understand, you know? And granted, 
just cut them off, just like that. <laughs> so, but yeah, so like, nah, I don't have no regrets, honestly. And like I was saying, my first shot, I just was like, yes, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. And that's all I could think about. You know what I'm saying? And like, honestly, from being in Georgia to being in Pennsylvania, I, you know, it's a major difference. I went from a depressed kid to like a happy-go-lucky kid. You know what I'm saying? I grew so much. You know what I mean? And just honestly... My happiness is more important to me. And, like, when I left, it was like, I left everything. And I just packed all my clothes and I came here. You know, and it was like, so was this this whole, uh, what is it, like, transition from Georgia to here worth it? Hell yeah, it was worth it. You know what I mean? It was worth it, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't regret nothing. I don't regret anything. Because honestly, this is the key to me. Honestly, um, the key is your happiness. You can't live for nobody else. You can only live for yourself. And if they don't agree with you, then, you know what I mean, they ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, you attract those that is for you. And and those that's not for you, they wasn't never for you in the beginning anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I don't have no regrets. And... I pretty much love every step of the way of my transition. I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn back. I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't at all. Because I feel every day I'm, I'm striving and becoming the best man I know I can be, you know. And that's pretty much what it's all about, honestly, your happiness. And, you know what I'm saying, fulfilling your dreams. And your goals in life, you know. And so my goals and my dreams was always to be able to start to transition, you know, get top surgery, you know, and just be the best man I possibly can, you know. And along the way of moving to Pennsylvania, you know, I met so many different people, you know, I got to experience so many different things, you know, I got to meet a great doctor. You know what I'm saying? That actually helped me, you know, transition. And it's very supportive, you know what I'm saying? Easy to talk to. It's not judgmental, you know. And she's for us, you know. And that's what you always want to have is a doctor that, like, understands your every needs and your concerns and pretty much give you any resources that you may need along the way. So, you know what I'm saying? So I want to say, you know what I mean? I, I pretty much have a dope ass doctor. So, yeah. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button. Also, make sure y'all uh, pretty much share. You know what I'm saying? And help your boy get to 1K, dog. But like I said, once I get to 1K, yo, I'm having a giveaway. And you that could possibly be you that win the giveaway. So, yeah. Thanks, y'all. And thanks for the new subscribers. I appreciate y'all supporting me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs>